Hi, my name is Yashmin Levy. I am from Jamaica. I am in the TESOL program here at York University. A great program to say. And um, I have been a teacher also of English for 21 years back in Jamaica. Hello, my name is Matthew and I am in my final year for the TESOL program at York University. I saved the practicum course um, for the last course because all my peers told me that it is the funnest course to take. So I saved the best for last. Uh, my name is Sajidur Rahman uh, Milon. I was a teacher back home for more than 10 years. Then I immigrated to Canada in 2011 as a university professor, but unfortunately couldn't be a uh, professor. And uh, instead I upgraded in uh, doing masters in uh, IT. I want to uh, bridge the gap that I have uh, lost, uh, the thing that I have gone for my life. I want to get all these things uh, back by being a teacher. I want to be a an teacher who uh, imparts his lesson effectively. And I want to um, also like um, em embed my lessons and everything with technology. After I finish the TESOL program, I am looking to find a job as an educator in, um, I would say I'm interested in ULE or the LINK program or even at the English School of Canada. Uh, yes, I did a master's in applied linguistics. My background in teaching English is teaching English as a subject. And uh, I've never taught English as a second language. I don't want to step into it haphazard in the sense of fishing for things. I want to be, have the skill set so I can advance to that program. I got to experience real life uh, classroom management skills by the teachers. They were, they had a great um, lesson plan and they were following like the order of their lesson plan, which I saw it was very effortless for them. And um, that's the kind of teaching I want to um, adapt and use in my uh, classes. This is the theory that I had before, but I could see in my eyes in front of me uh, the, uh, in practice, all those things were, were visibly you know, um, uh, imparted in front of me by the use of technology. And also the theoretical things, especially sociolinguistic uh, you know, uh, things that I learned in the class. I have learned, um, one thing I, I, I think I want to highlight with about it is, and it's maybe not so much specific to that context, but that always wear a smile. I observed uh, almost like 25 students, and 25 students are from almost like 10 countries. She had to change the way of lecturing. I mean, adapting her lecture to the particular uh, group of students. And also, she did her job so nicely by imparting her lessons, uh, keeping in mind the level of understanding, the level of learning of the students. Uh, this was very good uh, to know, very good to observe. No matter what, she's always smiling. And even when she's correcting the students, she's smiling. But I realized how important that one little if you call it asset can be in the classroom. Another thing I learned that is very important is building relationships. That's what I learned um, through my mentor, that building relationships with your students is also important. And I see that she does that in every way by getting to know about their lives. The questions they get is unpredictable and you always have to be ready with giving some kind of answer to the students for them to understand the material that they are learning. Teachers even used uh, like Google search for um, pictures to help the students understand. So it was very like on the spot, but they were always able to deliver. <laughs> the classrooms weren't that big. Um, in one of my observations, there were six students. In another ob observation, um, that class had nine students. And then my other class had only three students. All the students were in class. And in the beginning of the class, it was quiet. But after the teacher started making some jokes and making like break, uh, breaking the ice with the students, they opened up more and you'd hear them speak more 
Um, also, by asking them open-ended questions, force them to say more than just yes and no. Uh, there were uh, no beginners, but almost like intermediate uh, type of uh, students, uh, especially they were there to bridge the gap. Like they will be, it, it was academic bridging program. If anybody wants to learn uh, effectively, that student has to know uh, English properly. And that proper education uh, could be possible by attending those sort of classes. They are <coughs> mainly um, from the Chinese, Chinese background. And um, one, there's one Korean student in the classroom. They are very quiet, very quiet bunch. But if you give them something to do on the computer, like, then you'll find the engagement is heightened in that regard. But other than that, but they're also quite polite. I find them to be a, a quiet bunch, but not hard to work with. I would have advised myself to be more open-minded and more outspoken. After finishing my first program, I realized that that is, or in the midst of it, I realized that I needed to be more open-minded and be more outspoken because it is something that will, be outspoken more so because it tends to advance you better. It allows for you to learn more about people, people can learn more about you in all that regard. So yes, that would be the advice I'll give myself to be more open-minded and to be more outspoken. I would say that two months ago when I was introduced to this project, um, I am not a tech person, but I learned a lot of transferable skills. And I would just say to myself that to relax and everything will fall into place. You just have to do the work and um, you would be, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> just I want to be an accomplished teacher. That, that, that is always in my mind and that's why after 12 years of, you know, uh, predicament or whatever you say, existential crisis, I came back to York. As a family person, it was very difficult for me uh, to pursue my dream, but now I have left everything back to go back and catch up with the dream that I left behind long ago. I would say that the program is very um, well geared towards the students who want to be educators. I feel becoming an educator is also becoming like a role model. I want to help uh, newcomers who come to Canada and trying and they're integrating into a new society. I wanted to just give back to my community and I feel this is a great profession uh, teaching them language while they are adapting to a new culture and society. I ended up going into teaching for different reasons. It was a job that was there, put it that way. But being in the profession and being here for quite some time, it is quite fulfilling. Yes, it has its good moments, the high moments and the low moments, but all of them combined together has taught me a lot over the years. I know persons will say, oh, never again, but I don't regret going to teaching any at all. And I don't mind working with younger learners because they build you in a great way that you will never, ever, some person will never imagine. It has taught me a lot and it has built me in a great way that I have no regrets about it. I have no regrets.